Good morning. Happy Saturday, y'all. Can I just pray for you today? Um, I'm in uh, Proverbs. This is Proverbs 12, verse 25, and the word says, Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. And so uh, I pray that I'll be able to just bring you a good, quick word today if you're feeling any sort of anxiety, because again, that that anxiety word says bears him down, weighs him down. So can I just pray for you today for those who, of you who might be feeling anxious about maybe it's a prayer that uh, not has not been answered as far as you think. Sometimes we don't we don't see the results of the prayer, y'all. Come on. Um, but maybe you're anxious about things that are going on in your life. And anyway, so I just want to pray for you today that and I, uh, that the Lord's word, not Shelley's word, uh, makes you glad that you're reminded that um, that you know He is still uh, He is still in control, and the witness that we bear is of the goodness of the Lord. So I pray, Lord God, for anyone out of the sound of my voice that is. Um, feeling any sense of anxiety or worry today, Lord God. Uh, today, Lord God, I'm just approaching you on behalf of uh, your children, Lord God. I thank you, first of all, for just who you adore, you are and adore you, Lord God. I, I thank you, Lord, that we have the ability because of your grace, because of salvation to come to you. Lord, the word says that we are seated. We are seated in heavenly places. So I take my seat now and within the power and the authority in me and the Holy Spirit working through me, I pray that you will speak to the hearts of every single person who's under the sound of my voice, who is dealing with uh, anxiety or worry or fear right now or doubt in their circumstance. Lord, you know that we all stand in need of something. Some of us even if we're blessed in those areas of finance and family, we still have some days when we are anxious and worried. So I pray, Lord God, that you will remove and release that spirit of anxiety, that spirit of fear, that spirit of doubt, and that, Lord, that you will just remind us through your word, the promises and the covenant that you made with us are still in effect, that you want things, good things for us, that you're a good father. For those of us, who oh God, who are just seeking out, trying to hear your voice, that you'll quiet their minds so that they can hear you, that they will quiet their minds, y'all, so that you can hear the Father and that you will be blessed today. I pray that this will bless you. Uh, there's another verse in here, amen. There's another verse in here, uh, in this is Proverbs 14. Lord, the Lord has me in Proverbs this this weekend. That Maybe that's where we're going next week. Proverbs 14 um, in verse 33, and it says, uh, Wisdom rests in the heart of a man of understanding but it makes itself known even in the midst of fool. Wisdom rests in the heart of a man of understanding. So I want to encourage you again, for those of you all who might be feeling anxious and worried, some of that is control that you got to let go of. Um, I'm not worried about where I'm going to lay my head because I believe and receive that the Lord is going to bless me. Um, even if it looks Again, even if it looks dire that I thank you, Lord, that you're going to send that person in the form of a blessing that you've released your ministry of angels to, to cover all of us, Lord God, that we will receive that blessing that you're going to send. So, And I, I thank you for the spirit of wisdom and understanding um, and planting that resting in, in the heart of man. Give us wisdom so that we know uh, when it is you, when you are sending help, and that will release some of the anxiety and the burden and the fear that you have. And, uh, and I thank you, Lord, that you'll make itself known, like even for those of us who are foolish, <laughs> that you will um, that you will give us that that wisdom and let it rest in my heart. And I, you know, I ask for God that today, Lord, give me wisdom and let it rest in my heart. Let it rest in my heart. Um, give me give me understand. Help me to understand what's happening. And again, that helps your 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 fear. So I pray that that prayer helps you. Again, that was. Proverbs uh, 12, verse 25, anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. So even today, ask the Lord, Lord, just send me a good word. Ask him that, Lord, just send me a good word, Lord. Send me a good word today, Father. And that good word could come through the through the word of God. It might be a confirmation. Maybe I'm giving you the good word that all things are going to work out for your good. I'm telling you as someone uh, who's witnessing, I'm not just saying stuff because I hear somebody say, I'm telling you what I'm witnessing for myself, for myself, that the Lord is still with you. Amen. I pray this blesses you. Y'all have a wonderful Saturday. If you haven't joined our book club, uh, please do so. If you're if you're not familiar with, with who we are, because I post this on many channels, uh, you can find us, the Come Out of the Wilderness 
prayer ministry. You can find us on the Facebook street. You can come and check out. We have free virtual events every month on graceandgritmedia.com. Uh, we've got a prayer line coming. We've got a book club going. Uh, we pray live Monday morning, 6.30, Tuesday night, 8.30. And I also pray again uh, or teach on Thursday morning. And here I am on Saturday. I'm, I'm just keep I'm just keep coming back to y'all as much as he sends me. But I pray this blesses you and, and God is with you. And I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Take care, y'all.